I know what you're thinking. It's 2 a.m. You live in an apartment complex with thin walls and you want to play cello. Fear not anymore, for this is the solution to your problem. This, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is a Yamaha SVC silent cello. As the letters say, S, silent, VC, violoncello. And yes, it is a fantastic solution for those of you out there looking for a more discreet manner of playing cello. I am very lucky to have this cello in my life right now. It's on loan from my friend and I'm going to tell you all about it. Earlier in the life of this channel, I reviewed a different cello. Now to be fair, that cello right there cost $300 delivered to you on Amazon. This cello on Amazon costs $2,800. It's a significant price point difference, but if you're in the market for an instrument that is discreet, and allows you to play deep into those hours or maybe with a loved one or a family member that doesn't want to be disturbed, this is the solution for you. And even though you can buy eight of those instruments there for one of these, I guarantee you, you will not regret a single penny spent on this one. This instrument here is great. It feels like a cello. It doesn't look like one, but it feels like one, and I'll tell you why. Because of these different physical cue points here, here, and down here. First off, a wonderful detail about this is that it allows this right here, this piece is detachable. So this sits against your sternum, just like your instrument. It's got the same shape, just like your cello. This right here is another piece that your hand can fall right here, mimicking the shoulder and all the way that you need for all of your physical cue points up into thumb one and thumb two. So that's a fantastic thing. That can also be removed, as I'm doing right now. There we go. That can be removed, and this can be removed. I'm gonna place those two right there. And all you have now is the bottom right here. You have a, you have a bridge, you have a tailpiece as always, and you have these wonderful, wonderful mechanical tuners. You don't need to use a tailpiece. You can only use these, just like a guitar. Fantastic, and I like how they're flat. I really like that. Now let's look on the back right here. This is the onboard preamp. You put your headphones in here, your batteries here, and you see there's a line out and also a line in, which I was using in the recordings. And so we're gonna take these out just like every, it's got an end pin, so don't want to stab yourself. And it's a very thick end pin. You can't replace the end pins. So here's the bottom of it, and this is where the magic of this instrument's all about, right here. These are the arms, the praying mantis arms, that fold in and fold out. You have these two bits you push in, you loosen this a little bit, and it pushes right in. There's even a wonderful rubber stopper so you preserve your varnish and then you can screw it in if you're storing it. And there you have it. There's your electric cello. Now one thing I'm going to show you about this instrument that is really a selling point for many people and why I choose this over the 110 because the 110 has, as you, as you look, has a shape to it. It's not as portable as this. This right here you can take on an airplane, which I did. If 
from San Francisco to France. And I took it in this thing. It fits wonderfully in this case. The case is made of a canvas and it comes with all the compartments that you need for your stuff. So I'm going to fit all your essentials, the wire you'll need to hook up to whatever. So because it's electric, you may need this. A rock stop. These two bits that came off, they will go into, you can put one in here. Again, it's just four pouches and you can do really what you wish with the pouches. There's a spot here for your bow. Here it is in a case. So if you have a bow that, well, if you double the value of that, and that's the value of this bow, because my bows are irreplaceable, I protect them always in cases. And there is that. Here is this foam bit that goes over the bridge. It goes right here. Now, if you are going to travel internationally, I really suggest that you shave down here the tip of your spike, of your end pin. They may think it's a weapon. You don't want that happening. And this place is right here. You even have space behind the neck here to, for more storage. I didn't use an entire pouch. You can fill it up if you like. And then it zips up. It has pads on the outside to protect it. And there you go. You're ready. <laughs> and there you go. You're ready for air travel or really traveling anywhere you wish. My final thoughts on this Yamaha SVC Silent Cello 210 or 210 SK, they're all the same. They only come in one color, the Praying Mantis. Well, it's worth every penny. I recommend it 100%. I recommend it because it does everything it needs to do. It feels like a cello. It sounds like a cello. It plays like a cello. It also gives you onboard effects. And with the added auxiliary input, the possibilities are endless. You can pipe in your own music and really have a party in your ear. The one thing I highly, highly suggest is for all of you who are considering purchasing this instrument is to get yourself a pair of these headphones. These are made by Bayer Dynamic, and I will do a review on them. You see me wearing them in every single one of my videos. They are simply a single headphone. They're made this way. And as a cello player, you should be able to both hear what's going on outside and also with the recording track. And that's why this design is absolutely perfect because you can hear party in your ear and you can also hear the instrument as well. It also gives you a lot of clearance, but this video isn't about these headphones. Back to the cello here. I cannot recommend it enough. I love the fact that it has these mechanical gears. I love how it fits into a small case. I can take it onto an international flight, both on big and small flights. I love the fact that it has real ebony parts, that it breaks down really small, that it sets up really easy. So those are things I love about this instrument. What, things that can be improved is that the, if you leave it on, it will drain its battery, but it runs on AA batteries, so just keep some batteries extra. And really, that's it. I can't think of anything else. The only cello that is better than this is an NS Design CR4. That is the only cello, but that doesn't even have this wonderful feel. They really have 
hit it out of the park, they say in the US. They, they've really scored a goal. They have done themselves out. I cannot praise this instrument enough. It's after midnight here in France and I can play until I want. It's just, how can I say, the ability to play silently is too fantastic. I hope you enjoyed my review of this instrument, the Yamaha SVC 210 Silent Cello. If you learned something, leave a like and consider subscribing because not only do I do reviews, well, I'm dedicated to this world of sharing cello. Thanks again for watching. Here is more content you might find interesting on the channel. And I want to appreciate you taking the time and involving here my little channel on your journey of music discovery.